Greetings, my name is Arlo Payne, and this is a brief video summary of my paper titled Compact Symmetric Spaces, Triangular Factorization, and Poisson Geometry. The point of this paper is to study the relationship between the algebraic structure of the compact symmetric space and a very special homogeneous Poisson structure on it. The geometry of the symplectic foliation is described explicitly and related to an algebraic decomposition of the symmetric space. The main result is that each symplectic leaf admits an effective Hamiltonian action by a compact torus, and the momentum map can be computed explicitly in terms of the algebraic decomposition. A simple but enlightening example is that of the round two-sphere, which we present as SU2 modulo the diagonal subgroup. Presenting it as a coset space of a simply connected group ensures that the Cartan map gives a totally geodesic embedding of S2 into the three-sphere, which is further a real sub-manifold of its complexification, SL2C. In this way, an algebraic decomposition of SL2C induces a decomposition of SU2, and therefore a decomposition of the compact symmetric space, S2. The choice of a triangular decomposition of the Lie algebra of SL2C determines a real Poisson Lie group structure on SU2 and a Birkhoff decomposition of the group SL2C. The triangular structure compatible with our presentation of S2 is the standard one, decomposing a trace zero matrix into the sum of three matrices, one lower triangular, one diagonal, and one upper triangular. The associated Birkhoff decomposition of SL2C corresponds to Gaussian elimination. Those two by two matrices with determinant one with non-zero one one entry can be factored as a product of three matrices, a lower triangular unipotent matrix, a diagonal matrix, and an upper triangular unipotent matrix whereas the subvariety of matrices with 1, 1 entry 0 only admits such a factorization including a permutation. The induced decomposition of S2 has three components, the upper and lower hemispheres corresponding to the open component of the Birkhoff decomposition, and the equatorial circle corresponding to the closed component. It turns out that the double of the Lie bialgebra for the Poisson Lie group structure in SU2 is simply SL2C viewed as a real Lie algebra. The non-compact real form, SU11, which is dual to the pair presenting S2, is a Lagrangian subalgebra of this double, and hence, via a general construction due to Sam Evans and Jinghua Lu, the SU2 orbit through SU11, which is the two-sphere, inherits the structure of a Poisson homogeneous space. The symplectic foliation consists of two open symplectic leaves, the upper and lower hemispheres, and a necklace of zero-dimensional symplectic leaves along the equator. It is invariant under the rotation action of the diagonal torus because it is homogeneous and the Poisson Lie group structure on SU2 vanishes precisely on that subgroup. This illustrates the first of our main results, namely that each component of the Birkhoff decomposition of the symmetric space is a regular Poisson submanifold foliated by symplectic leaves. Through the Cartan embedding, the two-sphere is a real submanifold of the complex group SL2C and by restriction, we can think of the diagonal factor of elements in the top layer of the Birkhoff decomposition as a function defined on the upper and lower hemispheres of S2 with values in the complex torus of SL2C. By taking the modulus, followed by the logarithm, and then multiplying by i and using the killing form, we end up with a function on these symplectic leaves with values in the dual of the Lie algebra of the diagonal torus in SU2. The main result is that this is the momentum map for that rotation action on the two open symplectic leaves. Remarkably, the component of the modulus of the diagonal in this case restricts to the absolute value of the height function on S2, having value zero along the equator. Thus, the momentum map here is the logarithm of the momentum map for the usual symplectic structure on S2. To summarize, given a simply connected compact symmetric space X, we first present it as U mod K, where U is the universal cover of the identity component of its isometry group. By symmetric space theory, K is then the fixed point set of an involution theta, and is connected by a theorem of Bach. Thus, the Cartan immersion actually gives an embedding of X into U. The involution theta has a unique holomorphic extension to the complexification G, and the composition with the Cartan involution fixing U gives an involution of G which fixes a non-compact real form G0. Choosing a theta-stable triangular decomposition of G determines a Poisson Lie group structure on U and a Birkhoff decomposition of X. Via the evans lue construction, X obtains a homogeneous Poisson structure. Then, we describe the symplectic leaves as double cosets of G0 using the Uesawa decomposition, showing that each layer of the Birkhoff decomposition is a regular Poisson submanifold foliated by symplectic leaves. Next, 
for each symplectic leaf, we determine a torus in U, leaving invariant the symplectic structure, and compute explicitly the momentum map by a formula involving the logarithm of the diagonal factor from the Birkhoff decomposition. Applications include using this data, together with oestermatt heckman exact stationary phase integration, to obtain explicit formulas in terms of leaf theoretic data for the integrals, computing the symmetric space generalizations of Hirschhorn to C functions. That completes the summary. Thank you for your attention.